Why the fuck is it beeping? I'm not even driving and the car is like having like an aneurysm. Like calm down. I know my seatbelts are not on, but I'm not actually moving. I'm like really hot. Oh my god, it looks like I'm like on a mountain. Can we get like a light going or something? That, that didn't do jack shit. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, wait. Oh my god, wait. Oh, oh no, no. You go explore, okay? You go explore and have some fun. I've got to film a video, okay? Bigger boy. Bye. Okay, I just need this aircon for a sec because it's kind of an issue, big mistake wearing this jumper. I'm like a bit overheating. I was going to say. Anyway. I brought my bunny with me. My friend got it for me for my birthday. It smells really good. Lucy got it for me for my birthday. My bunny. Kind of fucking cute. I was going to just come alone in this car video. But I'm kind of thinking that it's a bit sad if I just come by myself. Maybe it's not, but it's just not, it's not the vibe. It's not really the vibe. So probably get into what we're doing in today's video because i'm getting a bit sidetracked i'm getting a little bit sidetracked okay i'm at like the top of our hill because like our house is like on like a huge ass hill but we're not even at the top like i'm at like the top right now maybe i should open the door so you guys can like see oh i can't see fucking anything someone commented on one of my other videos the other day saying oh my god you should do another you know chats with emma cute little recap like because I, I i've done two of these videos where i literally just sit in my car and talk about fucking nothing but sometimes i need that honestly sometimes i need to just talk oh my god my bunny's so cute i'm just gonna i'm taking it i'm just gonna sit with it like this okay so can you okay it smells so good can't figure out why but basically i'm just gonna do like a q a kind of type video plans for next year just gonna shove this in my shoe I've been wanting to tell you guys this for a while because we've just been, like, figuring it out, me and my friend. I'm not going to go to uni, I don't think. I am eligible to go to get into, like, the business course that I want to, like, with my estimated ATAR, like, whatever. So, I'm not going to completely rule off uni just because. But I just don't think uni is, like, my thing. Like, I really just don't think it is. Like, I, I know it's different to school, but I just can't envision myself writing another report or something like that just kind of makes me feel nauseous my plans are to go on a gap year with my friend or friends we're still work see seeing who wants to come but i'm definitely going with one of my friends um and um our plan is i want to tell you guys this so you're really excited for next year's vlogs because i'm really excited okay we're going on a kentucky tour like if you don't know what a kentucky tour is it's basically you you go with, like, a group of, like, people, young people, like, your age, like, 18 to, like, 25 is probably, like, the media, like, or the age thing. And you go around and you, like, travel, like, around Europe, like, really quickly. Like, you spend a day in a destination and then you move on. So, it's, like, quick traveling. So, it's, like, a 19-day one that me and my friend are doing. And we're going to London, Paris, Prague, um, the Swiss Alps, like, we're going all around there, so it's gonna be absolutely amazing, like, this is start of next year, and it's gonna be so much fun, like, I just know, and you'll, you'll like, meet lots of people, because these people that you're traveling with are all from different countries as well, so I'm gonna meet, like, loads of people, and it's just gonna be fun, you know what I mean? So we're doing that, we're going to all those places, like, I don't want to give away too much, but, like, we're going around Europe quite a bit, then once that is over, we, me and my friend are hoping to, like, stay around, like, stay in London for a bit, up to, like, Sweden, Norway, like, all those places. Like, there's literally so many opportunities of what we can do, and I'm just, like, so excited. And, like, if you guys have any ideas of, like, places we can stay, or, like, even, like, accommodation that we can stay in, like, cheap accommodation, um, let me know. Well, I'm doing YouTube this whole time, by the way, so you guys are coming as well. You guys are coming on my gap here. We're gonna have the fucking time of our lives. So after I travel for like, we travel for a couple of months. We're coming back here because you know like, we're gonna come back here. I'm gonna work on some other stuff. Top secret information. It's actually not top secret, but like, it's exciting news for me, and I feel like you guys will be excited to hear about it. But I don't want to tell you guys just yet because I just gotta work out some stuff. But 
lots of exciting stuff is going down next year so then i really want to focus on youtube as well so next year when i'm traveling like i'm gonna be vlogging more than twice a week hopefully like i want it to be my main i don't want to start taking this too seriously but like i mean i want to like push out more content for you guys because i love doing it so much and i'll have more time because i'll be traveling and stuff and it'll be content heavy like so i think next year will be really good for my youtube with you guys and stuff like it's just gonna be good we're thinking of going on a family holiday to spain like we're going to spain and like so because last year we went to italy right so we're thinking of going to spain like with like not with like my actual family my mum, dad, my brother, my friend might be coming with us. And we're going to go to, like, Spain and travel, like, on the beach, on a boat. Like, really fun stuff. Like, really, I've never been to Spain. I've never been to Spain. So, I'm really excited. It looks absolutely beautiful. And then when we say bon voyage to mum, dad, and li my brother Liam, because Liam's got school. But guess what? Me and my friend are on a gap year, so we're staying. We're planning on not going home after that we're gonna fly over to greece and go island hopping like travel from island to island and go from boat like to place to house to thing and do like cool stuff like that in the summer and then yeah see what happens from there we don't want to like set anything down in stone because things change like plans change and stuff and like the spontaneity the spontaneity spontaneity I don't know being spontaneous is like almost the fun thing about it like the freedom so we haven't set anything down like in stone but those are just my ideas and that's the plan for now we have booked the, the first Kentucky tour so the bit at the start is definitely happening but like other things after that can change but I'll make sure to keep you guys updated because you guys need to know because you're coming with me so it's kind of vital for you guys I need to put this aircon on for a sec I'm so sorry Oh, my foot's not on the brake. Oh, How am I even allowed on the road? It's raining. It's actually raining outside. Like, it started. Can you just sit there? It's raining. I'm taking the vlog on an adventure. So, I've stayed up here with you guys one time. That's my brother's little cubby house. And you can, like, sleep in there and stuff. And then these are the water tanks. But I've got a ladder here so you can climb up and sit on it. And see the view. So, oh my god. Climb up this ladder in the literal rain isn't it so cool okay but it's raining so i'm gonna get back in the cozy car before it starts raining too much do we feel cozy in here i do how much longer do i have left of school someone asked i literally have the end of this term which is like another four weeks and then i go on a holiday and then then we have holidays and then um then i literally have three weeks and then i have my external exams and then i've graduated so this gap year thing is going to come sooner than you guys know it someone asked things to do when you're sad that's actually a really sad thing to ask i'm actually going to be honest i normally just feel sorry for myself no um that's a really sad question to ask, but I'm glad you asked me. I'm glad you think I know what to do. I feel like you guys think I'm all knowing and I'm like figuring out lot things al along with you guys. I actually don't even know. Oh, thing when when I'm sad, my favorite thing to do is have a shower because afterwards you feel so good, but it's like almost requires such little effort. You just feel that tiniest bit more fresh, like more clean. Oh my god, it's like actually. Whipping out my notes again. I feel like it's about to start raining heavily. I'm just showing you guys. Like my view. The rain specks on the window. Someone asked me how to be a better person. And I was like, you're coming to the wrong person. You're going to the wrong person. I'm like, not a very good person. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not, like, evil, but I don't really know how to be, like... A, oh, my God. I don't really know how to be, like... I don't know. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, when someone asked me how to be a better person, I was, like... But I was also flattered at the same time, so I was thinking about it. And, like, I'm not, like, a horrible person. Things that I do to, like, better myself... I think just being nice is, like, the main thing. And it sounds so simple. Like, you're like, okay, no shit, I am nice. But, like, being nice, like, no one wants to be around a fucking bitch all day. And, like, obviously you have to be, like, real and honest. Like, no one wants to be around someone who's fake all the time because, honestly, it's kind of obvious as well. So it's, like, just be nice and genuine. I reckon that's how to be a better person. I just think being a nice person is it is basically it but like don't let being a nice person make you a pushover you don't take disrespect i do not take disrespect there's a difference between someone making a joke and someone actually disrespecting you and you need to know the difference because if someone is in front of you your friend putting you down in front of other people and making you feel bad about yourself that's not funny that's not a joke there's them saying a funny comment and then there's them actually trying to make you look bad in front of everyone else and it's honestly transparent as fuck. That stuff just kind of pisses me off. I'm like, do you seriously think that your opinion and your view on, like, how I do stuff and you're making fun of me actually matters? No offense, but it kind of is so invalid it hurts me. Like, your opinions on me are genuinely so invalid. Do you know what I mean? Like, anyone's opinions on you are so invalid. It doesn't matter what the fuck they think. Be like, okay, whoa, what about it? Like, I have every right to sort of put myself down and, like, make jokes about myself. And other people are allowed to make jokes about me, too. Like, don't take it too personally. Sometimes things are just a joke. But sometimes it's not just a joke. And they're actually being mean and hurtful. And you have to learn to differentiate that. Because if your friends are saying horrible things to you in front of other people, it's genuinely because they're insecure and they're trying to make you look like the fool in front of everyone else and not them and that you don't want to be friends with people like that because first of all you can't trust them and second of all they don't make you feel good about yourself so that's why one of my other things like don't be one of those people if you're friends with people like that go get new friends oh my god wait this question's good this question's good i like this do you follow your heart or your brain when making important decisions? This is crazy to me because I actually don't know the answer to that. I think my heart, and that's going to sound like the most cliche shit ever, but I think the logical decision isn't always the right one. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't use logic to do everything. Sometimes you just got to trust your gut instinct, and I'm pretty sure that's your heart. Like, your heart, I just... I think life's more fun if you follow your heart. This is getting into a deep conversation. And it's, like, raining outside. I'm like, yeah, life's more interesting if you follow your heart. Because, yeah. Like, Emma, shut the fuck up. I kind of like making the wrong decisions sometimes. It spruces life up a bit. Sometimes you got to make the wrong decisions and you got to learn from them. And you got to fuck up and you got to mess your life up a little bit. And you got to do all this and that. And maybe you'll regret it. Maybe you will. But also, maybe that's going to be the best. Oh, maybe. Why is it? Why are we beeping? But also. But I just think like. Oh, yeah. You just got to learn from your decisions. And sometimes I'm getting so into this. And I feel like me and you guys don't really have deep combos. We just sort of joke around and like do whatever but this is why it's important to have these video this is why it's important that i make these videos because i get all emotional and talk about my feelings which i don't really like doing because it kind of makes me feel kind of nauseous but it has to be done and look at me opening up to you guys and having a cute little deep combo but just so Anyway, I gotta like open this gate so we can get back into my house but love you guys and thanks so much for hanging out with me me and Copper had so much fun talking to you guys about my life advice. I don't know why I feel obliged to be giving you guys life advice when I'm literally, like, at the ripe age of 18 and know fucking nothing about anything. But, yeah, so maybe I should don't be taking my advice.